So welcome to this to this webinar. Uh, our topic is transitioning to work from home, boundaries, techno stress, and environment management. So I am Henry C. Cardinio, consultant of CPPS Work, uh, and, uh, which is the industrial arm of Child Possibility Psychosocial Solution. So I am your speaker for today. So uh, our outline is uh, we need to discuss three topics. So uh, number one is we need to understand the new normal working environment. Number two is to understand the concept of stress and techno stress, especially in this pandemic, and how uh, to practice work life balance, especially if we are working from home. First, is we need to dis discuss introduction to new normal work environment. So, COVID 19 pandemic is actually is one of the reasons why, uh, why we are now changing uh, in, in the situation. Uh, the COVID 19 itself, the virus, can affect the physical health of our employees, our country pen. Uh, the COVID-19 pandemic it affects also the concept of the environment uh, and economic concerns. But kailangan din natin maunawaan that this COVID-19 pandemic is meron din siya concern with our mental health. Okay? Uh, uh, in emergency disaster management cycle, uh, actually we need to understand that we are not prepared on this pandemic. When we say we are not prepared, you, we can see na hindi tayo katulad doon sa mga earthquake or fire drill na napaghahandaan natin. Meron tayong batas, meron tayong ginagawang paghahanda, may mga palisiya tayo before pa mangyari to. So actually, nagkagulatan po tayong lahat ngayon that we are now on responding on it. Okay, you, you will try to notice that we are still waiting in every announcement of the government. Kung mag extend ba ang mga community quarantine or they will change the new concept of the community quarantine, we are still waiting for the result of the vaccine, which is one of the symptoms of recovery. So, based on our assessment, as of this moment, hindi pa tayo umaabot sa concept of recovery kasi we are still responding on it. We, the, 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 the company policy, for example, is still adjusting. Uh, we are still adjusting on the concept of schedules. Uh, means of transportations uh, uh, and also we need to understand that we should be able to give the policy for long term because we believe and we hope that this COVID-19 pandemic is just a matter of In the concept of recovery, one of the symptoms that we said earlier is of course the, the, the concept of the vaccine because even if we test, um, we are just responding on it. We are just caring and preventing that there may be a lot of things that we should not but the concept of recovery, which is the, the idea of the vaccine, ito yung makakatulong sa atin at makakasecure na maaari na tayong bumalik sa old normal natin. Okay? The concept of mitigation is the concept of preparing for the possible pandemic na mag-occur ulit siya. Maaaring uh, uh, hindi lang naman ito ngayon, maaaring maulit ito sa maraming panahon. So, that's just only for the national level na we need to have a pandemic fund but also the, the organization or the company must prepare for this okay so the concept of pandemic is also uh gas up open a bbilis na yung concept on ng industrial revolution natin actually we are the fourth industrial revolution which is more on focus on connectivity before natin discuss yung fourth industrial revolution maunawaan muna natin kung ano ba yung first industrial revolution the concept of technology in the 1700s, especially in the first industrial revolution, is more on focus of the steams, the mga steam engines. For example, uh, if familiar po kayo with Thomas and Friends, yung sa mga anak po ninyo, ang Thomas and Friends po, ano, uh, ay example po ng steam technology, okay, which is part of the fourth industrial revolution. I still remember in the first, some of the first movie na napalabas sa TV sa panahon ng community quarantine is yung Titanic. Titanic is also one of the evidence of the steam revolution, uh, steam engines, no, na which is part of the first industrial revolution. Uh, let's proceed to the second industrial revolution, more on about electricity. The cost of electricity is yung gumagamit na tayo talaga ng kuryente, no, na which is majority of our appliances is nakakonekta. So that's the idea of electricity. When we come to the 1900s with the third, third industrial revolution, it's more on the advancement of technology. Okay. It is more on uh, telecom uh, telecomputing, uh, mas mabilis na pagkoproseso, which is nagpasok din sa concept natin ng digitalizations. In the fourth industrial revolution, it's more on connection but it's on the concept of wireless. Kung doon sa 1800s, which is second industrial revolution, it's more on connections. 
Kumbaga, para lang makatawag tayo, kailangan may line ng telepono. Ngayon, the idea is, meron, pwede na tayong tumawag, hindi lang by the SIM cards or networks na meron tayo, but also of the idea of connections of possible of internet connections, Wi-Fi, and other forms of technology. The fourth industrial revolution, uh, like this one, is parang we are doing trainings, uh, we're giving webinars, but allocated tayo with different places but we are on the same foot to learn to adjust in this situation so ang covid-19 po ay nagpapabilis po ng fourth industrial revolution para yahatin ng community yung fourth industrial revolution you will try to notice for example in the educational setting um uh, ngayon napipilitan mag-adjust na magkaroon tayo ng mga online classes which is for me di siya bago sa ibang bansa, no? Pero sa atin, since maaaring hindi tayo nga uh, na-appreciate ng iba to, pero since ngayon ang nangyayari to, na may COVID-19, na-appreciate nila na kailangan magkaroon tayo ng mga online classes. And of course, training which is part of this for the company, no? Which is, hindi naman to bago, no? Uh, matagal na pong may webinar concept sa abroad, no? Which is maaaring nasa kasanayan lang talaga natin na magkaroon ng mga personal interaction which is good naman no because uh, we are a social uh, social being no we are more on connections but we, uh, the concept of for industrial revolution is more of the idea of uh maaring physically distant but still we are socially connected okay so uh according to Amod, uh, Amod already gave the idea of flexible working arrangement uh, in the, his book on 2016 so about industrial organizational psychology. Identify four. Uh, one is full-time work but flexible hours. No? Uh, in our country, uh, the, the, the major concept is we need, in some organization, at least 40 hours in a week. Some are 48 hours in a week. We meron pong include, uh, inclusion ng Saturday. So, dito po, uh, meron po tayong tinatawag the core hours. Ibig sabihin, if you will work for 7 mag end ka ng 5, if 8, mag end ka ng 6, no? may flexible time. At meron tayong tinatawag na core hours. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka dapat mawala o hindi ka dapat malate do sa mga oras na ako tinatawag natin core hours. Halimbawa, sa ibang organization, ang core hours nila is 10 to 3. No? Pwede ka pa rin mag-in mag before 10, on or 10, no? mag-out ka do sa certain time mo ng 8 hours. No? Pwede ka mag-in ng, ng maaga, 7, baka kapag out ka rin ng maaga. Kasi ang hinihintay at kinakailangan na natin is about the idea of uh, four hours. Next is talk about compressed work weeks. No, uh, this compressed work weeks is actually proposed before na ng dole no? na magkakaroon sila ng Monday to Thursday, tapos parang 10 hours per day, which equivalent also to 40 hours in a week. No, which is the idea is una, uh, maka lessen sa traffic, but also in the, in the, in the, the concept natin is makatipid din sa mga empleyado. No? Malaking tulong yung meron tayong one day na less yung expense natin sa transportation, less yung expense natin sa food or sa break, sa break foods natin. Ngayon, um, it is also applicable in this situation, especially na sa orga, isang places is naka-modified GCQ or naka-GCQ na po tayo. But, uh, remember for the implementers na meron pong curfew hours pa rin ng ibang, or, ibang cities na pag nila. That's why, uh, ang next po na concept is about reducing work hours, no? Kung hindi applicable ang work weeks, no? Na, na magpunta po sa organization, the concept is reducing work hours, no? Uh, again, this is siguro is more on compassionate means to help and to support our people in the organizations. Some organizations, especially in the concept of GCQ, or actually in, in modified ECQ, no? Yung iba po organization is until 4 p.m. lang to give time para po sa shuttle services at makauwi at makabalik po before 6 or 7 at night yung mga empleyado due of the concept of curfew. So, ang idea is more on demand and more on applicable in this situation is the concept of working from home. Which is, ito yung isa sa minakafocus po natin. Okay? So, working from home is actually do telecommun telecommunicating. Working at home rather than at the office by communicating with managers and co-workers via phone, computer, fax machine, and other off-site media. This is according to AMOD uh, 2016. The idea is we are connected with other employees. We are connected with our bosses. 
through a lot of means of communications. So actually, hindi naman po sa minamarket po, na, hindi po namin yung namarket ng mga sumusunod. But to give idea, marami na po tayong portals na available na just only for uh, phone gadgets or phone lines natin. So meron tayong tinitawag na other applications when we can maximize our working from home. So bukod po dun sa concept ng mga Gmails and other uh, company uh, portals, meron po tayong tinatawag na mga systems like Zoom, WebEx Meetings, Google Duo, Google Meet, Skype, and StreamYards. So actually, sa ibang bansa, this is actually all. Kumbaga, marami nang gumagamit at sanay na silang gumagamit. Para sa atin, sa iba, maaari ito ay bago o ngayon lang natin na-explore kasi nga nagkakaroon tayo, nagkaroon tayo ngayon ng COVID-19 pandemic. So, ano yung gusto natin sabihin? Ibig sabihin, we are now observing, adjusting on the fourth industrial revolution. We are now accepting that this technology is actually means uh, to work at home. Okay. So, in working from home, we need to understand that there is a cost of synchronous and asynchronous. When we say synchronous, the employee can complete the work at the same time and at the same pace, although they may be in different physical location. When you say synchronous, meron tayo na pag-uusapang oras. For example, if we did decide meetings, uh, video conferences, meetings na magkisimula ng alas 10 ng umaga at katapos ng alas 12, ito ay pinoconsider po na synchronous. Some of the organizations also, meron po mga type of work na synchronous. When we say synchronous, uh, meron silang client na mag they need to discuss at 6 more, uh, the morning or sa iba 6 p.m. because a client nila abroad at magkatapos sila ng 8 p.m. Uh, because of 2 hours, that is actually synchronous. But meron din tayo tinatawag na asynchronous. The employee can complete the work at their own pace at a type of their choosing. We know na meron po tayo mga personal errands. No, gaya nga ng common joke sa work from home, no, pag nagkakaroon ng video conferences, yung mga aso tumatahol, mga manok na tumitilaok, yung ingi na masakyan sa paligid, o yung mga batang umiiyak, is actually one form na minsan hindi applicable ang synchronous, but applicable ang asynchronous. Okay, sa asynchronous, it is more of the idea na best time of the employee, kung saan siya pwedeng gumawa at mag-send ng report, since ang ibang uh, basis of the performance evaluation is more on output base, possible po ang asynchronous. Kasi may mga tao po, na, sa na maunawaan natin, na may mga tao na nocturnal kung tawagin, masanay at nakakapagproseso sila ng information kapag sumapit na po ang gabi kasi mas tahimik, mas hawak nila yung oras. While sa umaga, even they want to work naman kasi may ingay, may tumatawag, may may dapat gawin kasi nasa bahay ka, no, uh, sabi magluluto, kakain, mamaleke, maliligo, no, because uh, maaring hindi applicable yung synchronous kasi nga, we are on our personal place but we are doing work. No, that's why there is a concept of maaring selected types of synchronous and selected type of asynchronous. Okay, so next topic is we need to understand uh, the stress and about techno stress. Stress, according to Freshwater 2018, is a feeling that people have when they are struggling to cope with challenges related to finances, work, relationship, environment, and other situations. Currently, uh, actually, hindi na siguro personal, but also for the whole world, the whole people in this country, uh, even in your organization, we are struggling in challenges. Challenges in the terms of means of transportation, means of finances. No, kasi yung concern natin dito, some of since nagkakaroon ng economic concerns no, na nanginginig or nangangamba ang iba, nagkakaroon ng anxiety or other concern with regards sa status of their employment. Kung yung iba ba, mapapermanent ba, matatanggal ba, or yung iba na, na, natatakot na hindi makapag-adjust with this demand of technology. That's why natatakot sila kung tatanggal ba sila or makaka-affect ba sa performance sila or kung pwede na ba sila mag-retire. Kasi some of our workers or workforce ay hindi uh, hindi, hindi, sa tinataw, hindi sila part ng tinatawag nating digital native. Maari sila ay mga digital migrant. Ibig sabihin, nangangapa po sa teknolohiya yung iba. No? Parang may takot mag-click no? 
or mag-explore uh, ng technology. When we say kasi when we say kasi na sinabi natin digital micro uh, digital natives, no, yung mga common na kabataan natin na pinanganak na at nanganak na na may teknolohiya at mabilis sa proseso at sana ay mag-explore ng mga gadgets and softwares na ginagamit. Okay. In stress, meron tayong tinatawag na internal and external. Internal kapag tayo ay nangangamba, kinakabahan, ah uh, stress din yung na-excite ka, no? For example, if natatakot ka, ah uh, kinakabahan ka, nabibili kang tibok ng puso mo, it's a form of internal. Or halimbawa, lumalapit si crush, lumalapit si crush sa'yo, or bigyan ka ng si crush sa'yo, no? It's still stress, no? Na excite ka, no? It's a form of internal. Okay, po ano yung mga iniisip mo? Minsan kasi wala naman nangyayari, nasa isip lang natin, it is the idea of internal. Meron din po tayo tinatawag ng external stress. Ibig sabihin, ito yung mga pressure outside na hindi natin control. Yung, for example, mga balita na ririnig natin. O kaya yung mga utos sa atin, o yung mga demand of the work, yung dumaraming trabaho. is a form of external. We need to also to understand uh, stress in the form of stress and distress. When we say you stress, you stress is positive stress and this stress is negative stress. When you say you stress, uh, nai-stress po tayo pero ang effect na natin, effect na sarili natin ay positibo at kapag distress ay negatibo. Uh, halimbawa, for example, uh, example lang po, uh, kung ako ay currently in my karelasyon, tapos nakipag-break po ako, from the break situation na yon is uh, yun yung reason para makapag-aral ako, makapagtrabaho ng maayos, makapagbigay ng oras sa pamilya, makapagbigay ng oras sa sarili, is a form of stress. Pero kung ang eh, nangyari ay nung umiiyak ako, I'm getting, uh, pinipilit ko kumuha ng attention, pinipilit ko na uh, pag-post kung ano-ano sa Facebook, that's evidence of the distress. Okay? Ibig sabihin, uh, merong pressure, may tension tayong nararamdaman. Pero, maaring pag pinush tayo sa positive means, the idea is distress. Pero kapag napupunta tayo sa negative concept, the idea of distress. So, ano yung gusto natin sabihin? Uh, paulit-ulit ko pong sinasabi every time na discuss po ako, malinaw po dapat na hindi natin pinopromote ang stress-free workplace. Because stress is actually normal. Stress is necessary to adjust. Necessary para po ma-evolve, mag-grow po tayo. Yun nga lang po, kapag hindi natin kaya kontrolin, i-manage ang stress, nagiging distress po siya. Kaya yun ang magiging concern natin. So, ibig sabihin, stress is actually normal. Stress is actually important. In the same way, it is risky. Kasi ang stress po, fatal. No, pero hindi ko naman po iniiwan sa concept na lagi negative ang stress because kung bakit tayo nag-grow, bakit tayo na-develop because of the stress. May positibong, may positibong nangyayari po sa atin. Okay? So, bisibihin, kapag hindi nga lang maganda ang adjustment natin, maaaring evidence po ng distress which is mas kailangan po ang bigyan ng atensyon. Okay? So, for, from the concept of maaaring internal, external, stress or distress, uh, na pumapasok po sa atin, uh, we need to understand the concept of stress bucket model. No, as individual, para po tayo isang timba, no, na minsan napupuno din. May limitations tayo. Okay, so ibig sabihin, uh, from the concept of finances, mga nutritions natin, yung yung mga training, for example, this one, maaaring stress po sa iba to, yung panahon na hindi ka makatulog, sa pamilya, relationship, from that different concept, napupuno po tayo. Or maaaring hindi natin kinakaya. That's why it could be rep- Kapag napuno, umapaw po tayo. Uh, maaaring can result for injury, depression, getting sick, mental breakdown, and other, any forms of more in, uh, distress concept. But the idea is we need to manage it. That's why dapat meron tayo nilalabasan. Na it means tayo how to manage stress. Again, it's normal. Stress is normal. We need to address it Kung ito ay nasa stress pa, ibig sabihin, kapag stress pa lang, okay, kaya pa natin kontrolin. Kasi, in other forms of mental health, from the concept of stress, going yan, inahatak niya pa yan sa other development, no, na more anxiety, more on the concept of depressions, or more on the concept of psychological uh, concerns or mental health concerns. Pero kapag nasa stress tayo, nasa doon tayo sa optimal mental health. 
Okay, so that's why we need to learn the process of the yoga, meditation, what the importance of the rest, uh, how to relax, uh, what the importance of social connections, no, you but uh, the idea of hindi tayo po uh, uh, makakain, so dapat makakain na po tayo, at magkaroon tayo ng sapat na tulo. Okay, actually the concept of techno stress is hindi po bago. If you must still remember uh, the, the, the Industrial Revolution, uh it's around between the 1800s and 1900s as the third industrial revolutions no actually broad already on 1984 defined techno stress on the, as a focuses on the ways that increase in exposure to technology and long hours spent on the computer has increased people's stress levels and lowered well-being ibig sabihin po since 1980s pa po at definition of the broad na experience na po natin yung techno stress ibig sabihin yung um maaring uh, bigla ang pagbabago o pag-accept ng teknolohiya ay magbigay po sa atin ng concept of techno stress. Ibig sabihin, natataho tayong gumamit ng mga forms of technologies no or uh, or maaring nangangamba tayo sa maaring epekto at kung ta- eh, para nagkakaroon tayo ng resistance kung magiging effective or efficient ba ito. According to Rose on 2019, this tr- uh, techno stress is distress and negatives psychological impact of introducing new technologies at work no? which is my reason kung bakit uh, iba na, ibang generation we need to understand different generations in in our organizations bakit sila ayaw sa mga bagong teknolohiya o bakit gusto nila yung teknolohiya uh, kasi maaring gaya na sabi ko meron tayong tinatawag na digital native at digital migrants no maaring yung ibang generations natin or older workforce nagkakaroon po nakakaramdam po ng techno stress kasi parang paano nga ba pag install paano ba to paganahin uh, ano uh, saan to ikinokonekta uh, paano ba to ginagamit ano ba yung system o technology na gagamitin natin ngayon okay that's why it can create uh, negative psychological impact not just only for the organization kasi maaring costly mangyayari nito pero since necessary pagkuponda tayo but also in the employees no kasi lalo na yung mga kulang sa training or really familiar with the adjustment of technology two distinct parts of techno stress is number one is specific cause of stress and number two is reaction to the stress in specific cause of stress for example uh your boss switches everyone uh, over a different project management tool. Okay, so ibig sabihin, uh, maaaring sanay ka, no? Uh, sa isang teknolohiya, for example, we are using Zoom, for example. Maaaring sanay tayo doon, biglang mag adjust sa other forms or other platforms na gagamitin na hindi sanay yung iba. Can create, that can create techno stress. Number two is reaction to the stress. For example, is users panic when uh, when the tool doesn't work as expected. Babaga, uh, maari isipin na, oh, madali lang yan. Sasabihin ng iba, yung mga younger individual, oh, madali lang po yan. Click, click, click lang yan. Pero yung iba, parang may nagpa-pop out, no? Kasi the idea is, uh, different laptop, for example, is meron difference in the features po sila. Meron pong applicability yung ibang softwares na maaring hindi nagpa-pop out sa screen ko pero nagpa-pop out sa screen nila. No, that it create na natatakot po silang mag-click o mag-explore na baka masira or ano man yung uh, mag- magawa po nila, no? So that can create techno stress. Okay. So causes of uh, techno stress. First is invasion, no? Technology is taking over my life. Okay? Bisibihin kasi it invades, no? Uh uh, bisibihin, uh, minsan yung oras natin, for example, sa messenger, no, kahit gabi, no, makita ka lang na online, nakakarap tayo ng message, uh, masakit doon, nasin mo, parang kailangan ko mag-response, no, kahit ayaw mo, no, tapos may utos, nakita, no, no, so parang kailangan mo nang gawin, kasi nakita mo na, alam mo na ba sa nakita mo siya. So, invading your personal life. Okay, number two is overload. I can keep up with all of the tasks, all the tasks. Bisibihin, uh, sumasabay na kasi yung trabaho sa loob ng bahay at trabaho sa opisina. Hindi po tayo umalis. So, uh, nagkakaroon ng overload. Ang sinasabi nga, marami nagsasabi sa karanasan nila na parang ngayong work from home, mas maraming trabaho ang napipigay o mas marami silang trabaho na nakikita. That's why we need to manage at paano natin mamanage yung work from home. Number three, 
cost is complexity. The technology is too complicated. No, parang on main counter um sa iba, maaring hindi siya complicated kasi nga uh, sanay sila sa paggamit ng technology or expose or prior in this pandemic situation, trained po. No, pero kasi yung iba uh, in the idea of complexity is hindi sila trained, nasanay po sila na may nag assist nasanay po sila na may maaari tinatawag na intern or staff to assess or to assist, sorry, to assist para gawin o mapahanabangan o maayos yung technology. But the context is, ngayon na work from home at ikaw ang kailangan magsimula, mag-click nito, parang it's more on complex, no? Parang nahihirapan na dito tayo sanay. Number four is about insecurity. If I can't work out how to use this technology, I'll get fired. Okay? Insecure kasi... Uh, yung iba, uh, maaaring mas, matagal na sa kumpanya, ngunit natatakot sila na yung ibang kabataan ay sanay. No? Uh, may mga, well, may mga individual na they can't adjust on this. No? Parang alam naman nila na may younger populations na may sanay, may sanay sa technology, but may mga tao na uh, nahihirapan tanggapin na, na, na hindi pa nila hayang i-adjust yung technology na yan. Or maaari kasing uh, ang nangyayari is maaaring sanay ako magtrabaho in individual, I mean as a person na social interaction pero hindi ako sanay uh, humarap o makipag-uusap sa tao sa screen lamang. Ano yung gusto na sabihin? Meron po, bilang Pilipino po kasi meron tayo konsepto ng hiya na nangyikiramdam nakikisama, nakikibagay, na parang kahit gusto kong sabihin tong mga bagay na to, pero yung ambience sa, sa isang kwarto ay hindi maayos. O alam natin na hindi na sa good mood si sir. No? Hindi natin ginagawa. Pero ngayon kasi, hindi, usually, nalilimot siya ng screen. Kasi hindi natin nararamdaman, nalilesan yung pakiramdam natin kung okay ba o hindi yung mga kausap natin. No? Kasi minsan kapag usap natin, titignan natin yung mga non-verbal cues nila. No? Malalaman natin kung okay, interested sila o hindi. Pero since ngayon ay nasa screen lang, nalilimit yung bagay na yun. Nahahanap na limit lang siya dun sa screen natin, kung ano yung natin. That's why it can create insecurities. At, can ma- at also, it affects bumababa or nag-direct ng epekto ito sa ating performance. Next, uncertainty. We, it is how the technology is supposed to work. Sabihin pa, ganito, ganito ba talaga siya? No? Kasi may mga mangya- pangyayari na iba yung nakikita mo sa interface ng iyong laptop or yung computer, pero iba yung nakikita ng ibang tao. Kasi may, for example, in the concept of uh, Google Meet, Zoom, or other platforms, maaaring iba yung nakita ko, pero kapag naka-live na siya or naka-broadcast na siya, iba yung nabubuyo ng mga, mga individual. So, uh, So, why yung iba, ngayon, kumbaga, before, one screen is enough. Pero sa iba, minsan, dual or triple screen para makita nila ano yung actual at ano yung nangyayari sa atin. No? Because, actually, it's uncertainty. No? Hindi natin alam kung gaano katagal, hanggang kailan, uh, magiging ganito din. No? That's what can create stress. Okay. Other causes. No? Nakaka-stress. No? Part of poor, uh, is a poor internet connectivity. Uh, sadly, in our country, marami magareklamo sa different uh, providers sa ganitong situation, no? So that can also cause yung tipong naka online tayo or naka video conference. I don't know kung experience yun. sa amin, may experience namin yun na parang during video conference, may mga selected individuals na bigla nawawala or nahihirapan komonekta or minsan na during their presentations yung nakakat siya or nagkahang siya, no, maaaring ito ay because of the poor internet connectivity. Maaaring kulang din po sa online etiquette. No? Kasi in, in some webinars, I, I'm experienced po, parang habang may nag-discuss, continue yung chat. So yung chat is pop out ng pop out. So, or minsan, habang may nag-discuss, uh, yung ibang participant, especially sa ibang control yung, yung, yung uh, audio and video, parang hindi sila nagbumute, no? Kahit minumute nila, kahit minumute sila nung host, may mga individual pa rin kasi na nag unmute tapos uh, naririnig mo yung utos ng nanay, naririnig mo yung iyak ng bata, naririnig natin yung mga sigaw sa paligid. So, 
Ah, uh, maari kasing nakulang sa training of about online etiquette. No, maari kulang din tayo sa proper training to use of this technology, no? Kasi nga we are just responding on this. Para nga nangyayari, ngayon lang inimplement na gantong teknolohiya ang gagamitin natin at hindi pa kaya ibigay or maaring isinend sa atin yung link pero may hinihingi username, password na nahihirapan tayo o yung iilan sa pagkonekta. No? Maaaring kasi ang dahil totoo naman di atin ma-access yung platform or maaaring ito ay sa, sa, wala sa internet connections. Okay, nag increase ang workloads, no, which is already discussed. A lack of standardization with technologies. Kasi, uh, na-experience namin, ako na-experience ko na, na umaatid ng meeting. Uh, since meron kasi concern with security features, no, we decided w- with one platform. Pero during that time, nakikin na namin na mabilis sa pagkain ng bandwidth or malaki yung bandwidth na ginagamit. Uh, at nakaka-epekto to sa internet connectivity. That's why bumaba kami o lumipat pa kami, nag-migrate kami sa isa pang platform which is mas kaya ng internet. Yun nga lang, medyo risky due of the securities uh, ng mga platforms. Kasi meron din po tayong tinatawag na uh, we need to understand the data privacy law. No? Because we need to create accounts. We need to give access no? with our uh, personal details which is dapat ma-restrict din po yun. That's why In some organization, we choose certain platforms. Yun nga lang, uh, mataas yung security, sa mataas din yung kinakain sa internet. Sadly, na, since yun lang kaya ng internet connectivity, which is yun yung limitations natin, bumababa tayo ito. Okay, and reliability of hardware and software. Ibig sabihin, uh, maaari yung the concept of one platform applicability sa isang gadgets. Kasi, um, In a wide range of our employees or participants, hindi lahat modern or medyo advanced or pinakaliktas edition ng laptop or, or ng gadgets. Meron kasi mga laptop na still nag-exist, nagka-function, pero yung mga video card, yung mga uh, specs nila ay hindi kaya, no? hindi applicable na kailangan mag-upgrade ng mga systems o software, uh, ng hardwares para po or ng gadgets para maging applica- applicable yung software or technology na gagamitin natin. Okay. So, sign of symptoms. Paano natin malalaman na meron lang tayo yung techno stress? One, headache. Or physical. It's more on physical stress. Headaches, sore necks, no, mga sakat sa likod, uh, shoulders, balikat, no, nahihirapan na tayo makapag-relax, no, nagkakaroon na rin tayo na pag-adjust ng pagtaas ng, hyper, ng blood pressure, no, which is common with the techno stress, no. Uh, I still remember na, sir, paano po yung ano, uh, possible ba yung sa mata? Yes, no. Kasi, uh, gaya na sabi natin is, naka-expose ka, dati kasi parang, pwede ka mag-break, pwede ka tumingin sa environment, pero ngayon kasi, sana-sana yung tayo, or de- nagkakaroon na ng demand na kaharap natin ngayon, even meeting, kasi diba, pag may meeting tayo, tao, kaharap natin. Ngayon, even meetings, no screen o monitor yung kaharap natin. That's why, nagkakaroon ng maaring dry yung eyes or minsan yung mahapde or yung minsan yung sober, sobrang liwanag yung screen, yung kahit lumingon ka na, tumingin ka na sa ibang view, may liwanag pa rin siya. So, ibig sabihin, maaaring nagkakaroon tayo ng physical stress. No? That's why, we need to we need to address with this. No? Yung katulad ng ibang mga salamin na multi-coated no? na nagpreprevent somewhat ng radiation. Okay. Next, symptoms, signs and symptoms about mental stress or mental. It's more on about workers' feelings overwhelmed by technology, having increased errors, worse productivity, more difficult concentration, uh, low morale, and can they become depressed, mentally exhausted, and signing it towards technology. The idea is maaring negative emotions na naramdaman natin. Ibig sabihin, nahihirapan, nape-pressure ka, uh, nangangamba, kung tama ba yung mga na-send mo, no? kasi hindi natin nato-double check. Kasi mayroon mga individuals na uh, mas sanay, mas gusto dun sa hard copy, mag-check, no? kaysa dun sa soft copy, yung nasa screen la. So that's why it can create the concept of mental stress. No? Na hindi na lang napapansin yung errors kasi hindi siya nakaprint out. So because, remember, we are now emerging for industrial revolutions. 
Three is about emotions. Now, take the stress can also cause panic, anxiety, attacks, feeling of isolation, irritability, as well as less time sustained sustain thinking, work-life imbalance, reduce job satisfaction, and increase mental and time pressures. Okay, yung tipong naiiyak tayo, uh, nangangamba na tayo. Kasi, kasi also of mental, uh, is more on about thinking, the process, no? Uh, ano yung mga sistema ng gagawin natin, no? Ngayon is more on our emotions. Maaari kasing maayos uh, natin nagawa mentally, pero nangangamba ka, na kung tama ba siya o hindi. Emotions, uh, minsan kapag sobrang dami, no, na pumapasok sa emails po natin, no, parang kahit hindi mo pa siya nababasa, marami yung nakikita, it can cause, uh, it can cause about anxieties. Dami ko na naman trabaho, parang ganun siya. Okay? So, another about social, uh, take the stress can decrease social interaction, both physical and cyberspace negatively affecting the bond on or social relationship both with the workmates and family members. Uh, I use the concept of physical distancing does not mean social distancing. Okay? Paalala po, ano, in every organizations, maaari pong distant tayo physically, pero hindi po tayo dapat socially distant. When you say physically distant, physical lang naman yung deep, ang kailangan natin ilayo. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na social distancing na hindi mo kakausapin yung mga tao. Still, maaring physical distance pero maaring socially connected po tayo. No? So, maaring yung iba kasi, uh, nagiging sign of symptoms of fitness stress. Yung mga biglang uh, meron kayong group chat, no? bigla na lang siyang umaalis sa group chat kasi na-stress na siya. Parang ang dami na napag-uusapan doon. No? Parang pop-up out na pop-up. Gabi namin, nag-chat pa. Tapos hindi naman maganda yung pinag-uusapan. O hindi siya interesado sa pinag-uusapan. So, maaaring nagiging so, uh, umaal siya doon. Nagiging social distance na siya. Uh, maaaring yung uh, to, uh, nagkakaroon na ng mga video conference, yung mga random kamustahan, pero hindi siya nag-join. So, maaaring meron siyang epekto sa kanya. No? Because nagkakaroon siya ng technology that you need to address or to give attention. Okay. So, remember, these are more on normal reactions because we are on the abnormal situations. Abnormal kasi, need, even I, hindi ko na-expect na mangyayari ito o magiging tasyak tagal. No? Uh, tayo yung natatako, tayo yung nag adjust sa technology, nag adjust tayo with work from home. It is actually a normal reaction because we are on the abnormal situation. Okay, so how to deal with techno stress? Number one, assess the risk. Kung kaya pa naman siyang i-monitor, like yung, yun nga, yung sa mata, kaya mo pa natin siyang i-lessen yung pag-access sa gadgets, no? pwede pa. Okay, but if it sa tingin mo medyo malala na, no, mar- for sure yan, yun, uh, marami namang uh, telemedicine approach na pwede natin kontakin, uh, or you must try to have support with the organizations kung paano nila kayo matutulungan. Okay, that's why you need to assess the risk. No, yung mga pain sa na nararamdaman natin, sakit ng ulo, sakit ng balikat, kung occurring ba because of the stress, no? Assess the risk kung ito ba yung malala o hindi at kung or kung manageable pa siya. Yung number 2 is about is increased general awareness. Uh, for example, this webinar is actually a form of increasing general awareness. The kasi yung pinapaliwanag natin na we are not transitioning work from home. We need to understand uh, stress, we need to manage our environment. And we need to give attentions on uh, boundaries. At next is na step three, encourage work boundaries. Uh, with the help of the organizations, uh, we need to uh, identify work boundaries. For example, uh, organization may have a policy kung kailan lang dapat nakikipag-usap or anong pinukonsip natin working hours. At until what time lang. No? For example, kung kung sinasabi natin ng working hours is until 7 p.m., so ibig sabihin, uh, pagdating po ng 8 p.m. until 5 a.m., for example, wala na po dapat nag email o wala na po nag-receive na any messages, no? it can create work boundaries. Okay? Uh, step number four, carry out technology-specific trainings. Uh, support and technology like video, kasi maaaring mag-record dala ng video or mag tayo ng video, or magbigay ng link connected with other portals para ma-familiarize po yung mga employees natin can reduce techno stress. 
Fifth, put the right person in the right job. Okay. When we say put the right person in the right job, for example, in one department, siguro baka maaaring mag-identify tayo kung sino yung muna yung magiging pinaka-support natin. Or example, mag-host ng meeting. Uh, usually, kung si secretary or yung personal communication individual natin, not familiar, baka may ding magbigay mo ng support ha, or sumag-support o tumulong muna yung younger individual familiar with this uh, technology adjustment. Okay, you may try to also to put IT. Now, in some organization, since work from home na sila, kung dati 24 by 7, 24 by 7 sila, they also now require him na magkaroon ng technical support 24 by 7. Now, which is which is mas demand din ngayon no na magkaroon ng suporta ah, na through telecommute uh, telecommuting na sa bahay sila mag-assist po sa inyo. Okay? So part of it is also uh, if you need to adjust on skeletal workforce, sino yung pwede mo nang mag-opisina? No, at sino yung pwede nang nasa bahay mo din magtrabaho? Step 6, review process and procedures. Since nagkaroon po ngayon ng pandemic, Usually, hindi nakakalabas yung iba. We need to review for process and procedures. For example, dati sa Naita, may mga organization sa Naita na puro printouts. No, parang every time na magkakaroon ng communication, kahit approved na sa email, no, kailangan pa i-print, tsaka i-forward sa certain department para may proof. No, kahit na forward na sa email. No? Uh, for, sinasabi nila, for copy, ganyan. So, that's why we need to review process and procedures. Uh, paano yung pag-measure ng performance? You need to identify also yan. Kasi another example, uh, tanong nung sa isang group before na Facebook, uh, parang pinagtawanan nila na parang uh, work from home ka na, uh, nag-apply ka pa ng OT, okay? Uh, hindi naman ibig sabihin na work from home ka, hindi ka dapat mag-apply ng OT. Remember, by the law, uh, minimum of 40 hours in a week, no? Yun yung sinasabi natin na monitoring. E paano kung yung work na nabigay mo, e sobra naman talaga, no? At kinakain niya yung personal life niya, hindi ba siya pwede mag-file ng audit? No, that's why you need to review, especially for HR, and yung process and procedures nila towards with applying OT in the workplace. And paano naman monitor kung talaga nagtrabaho siya o hindi? No, kasi yung iba, meron tayong tinatawag na time and motion study. Uh, big sabihin, lalagay ko ang accomplishment ko, gano'ng kadami to, gano'ng katagal ko to ginawa. Okay, so yung mga ibang organization, gano'n yung setup. Okay? Step number seven, reduce unnecessary communications. No, big sabihin, kung meron tayong line of communication or ginawa natin group chat para lang po sa conversation ng updates, no, it's more about updates. No, uh, maaaring tanggalin na muna natin yung mga uh, unnecessary communications. Yung mga nakikin chismis, yung mga hindi naman connected, no? or minsan uh, na, na, nadadala tayo no? na uh, pati yung napapanood natin sa mga palabas, na, papal na napapanood natin sa balita, no? uh, nasa-share natin doon. No? So, agad maaari, din do sa unnecessary communications. Kasi it can affect or can give the concept of tech, no, uh, stress sa mga empleyado. Okay, number three, no, practicing work-life balance. Okay. Uh, what is work-life balance? No, according to Kaliat and Bro, uh, the individual perception that work and non-work activities are compatible and promote growth in accordance with an individual's current life priorities. Ibig sabihin, yung trabaho ko kasi ngayon, konektado sa buhay ko, compatible sila. The purpose I'm working is yun kasi yung reason kung bakit nabubuhay ako. Okay? Or the idea of, kasi inspired ako, no? Kasi, uh, para sa bayan, para sa anak ko, para sa pamilya ko. No, this is the idea of the work-life balance. Kasi, ang sinasabi ng iba, uh, on my experience, sir, wala naman po talaga work-life balance. No? Meron lang po tayong 24 hours in the day. 8 hours agad ang kinukuha ng trabaho. Wala pa doon yung break time. So, 9 hours ako nasa opisina. Wala pa yung oras ng biyahe ko, wala pa yung oras ng pagligo ko. Paano nagkakaroon ng work-life balance, no? Uh, because if you are working for the purpose to achieve your goal in life, it's actually it's more on the idea of the work-life balance. Okay? Kasi bihan parang, kaya ako nagtatrabaho para makaipon, magkabahay, magkakotse, makapag-aral, 
uh, mapakasalan yung babaeng gusto mo. No? It's a bit of balance. No? Kasi kapag hindi yun ang gusto mo, nagtatrabaho ka just for money, pero hindi ka na masaya. No? Or katrabaho ka lang doon kasi dahil maganda yung locations, pero hindi ka na masaya or hindi naman na-achieve na yung goal mo. No? Ito yung nagiging work-life conflict. No? Nagiging incompatible. No? Work-life conflict is difference with work-life balance. We're in demands or pressure. Experience in one domain are perceived be incompatible with those in other domains according to Mitchell on 2030. So, We, here in CPPS, we are giving this how to manage work from home because working from home is not 24 by 7. Okay, ibig sabihin, malinaw sa atin na uh, nasa bahay ka pero hindi dapat 24 by 7 yun. No? We need to do CPPS, create boundaries, prepare your working space, personal care, and system and technology. Okay, so let's discuss how to create boundaries. Okay, uh, for me, you need to identify three concepts. Work, family, personal. Sir, di ba yung family, personal? Naaari kasi itong idea. May oras ka sa pamilya, wala kang oras sa sarili. No, mayroon pa rin siyang thin line kung nag-iiba yung sa concept of the family and personal. Kasi yung iba, napaka binibigay yung oras sa pamilya, hindi na kayang bigyan ng oras yung sarili. Okay? That's why we need to identify Boundaries, not only for work, family, but also to your personal. Okay. For example, time. Okay. So, you need to give time to your work, no, to your family and personal. Ibig sabihin, malinaw dapat kung ilang oras at anong oras ka lang dapat magkatrabaho. Kung synchronous to, ibig sabihin, aware na tayo na, uh, for example, gintong oras lang akong magharap si screen. So, after not off the screen, tapos family na ako. So, kung after the family, magtutulog na, baka kailangan mo magkakaroon ng oras naman sa sarili mo. Dahil gusto mo maghilamos, gusto mo maliko, gusto mo manood ng mga uh, series. It's a part of your personal. Okay? Next, we need to create boundaries about means of communications. No? So, ganun din. Nahati siya dapat. No? If it is possible na dapat magkaroon ka ng email for your work lamang at for email for your personal. Yun, pwede na mag-share na sa family yun. Or may adding, yung iba, nakita natin, no, na one of the respond on this, uh, since ang iba kasing uh, organization or short, uh, situations, uh, more on means of communication nila social media, kasi mas madali, mas accessible, mas anay gamitin, at mas nakaharap tayo sa social media. So, ang ginawa ng iba is, gumagawa po sila ng panibagong account na ito ay for work lamang. Okay, so yung iba is, ito personal ko, no? Ibig sabihin na kakaroon ng boundaries, ina-accept ko lang yung work ko kapag work account, ka-workmates ko, pero kung friend rin kita, pwede rin kita kasama sa, per sa personal account. Okay? So, part of creating boundaries means of communication is yung mga numbers. No? Ano yung mga telephone numbers or lines mo na pang office lang talaga at ano yung pang personal mo. Kasi yung iba, lucky some organizations na nagpo-provide ng uh, telephone lines. Napaka-opisin na talaga yon at meron ka personal mo. Okay, pero ngayon kung napagsasama mo siya, baka hindi dito create boundaries, no? So, ang hirap na. Yes, it is mahirap sa ngayon kasi, pero remember, the first step is you need to practice it. Yun ang unang pamamaraan. Okay? Next is you need to share or to uh, divide your energy. Yung lakas mo na mismo natin. Kasi, ang idea, um, in this transition of work from home, Marami na kami nakitang training about personal care. Marami na kami nakitang training about uh, to understand the well-being. Kaso, ang, ang isa sa concern namin is magkatrabaho ka. After nun, mag-aasikasa ko sa para sa bahay, magluluto, maghuhugas, maghilinis ang bahay. Kahit alam mo na dapat talaga ang sarili mo, pero kung wala ka ng energy nagawin niyo para sarili mo. Ganun din siya. So nagkakaroon tayo ng, ng, ng problema doon. That's why your even your energy, kung pagod ka na at certain time, baka pwedeng ka measure or napapagod ka na, baka pwedeng ka mayroon nang mag-post. Tapos transfer ka doon sa gusto ng buhay mo or yung yung personal mo. So for example, from experience working from home, 
Uh, minsan ang dami yan. Habang nag-encode ka, habang gumagawa ka, may pumapasok mo sa email mo. Magpapop out na siya. Pag sobrang stress na or mangyayari na hindi na nagka-function yung brains natin, uh, ginagawa ko, nag-off na ako, I do play Lego. No, yan. So, you have Legos in my background. So, yun yung pretty personal ko. No, parang uh, it boosts me up. No, na nare-refresh nila ako. No, Ibig sabihin, hindi tayo parang robot or parang computer na gamitan ng F5 or refresh. No. So, uh, said, I mean, sorry. Ang computer and laptops, kailangan din i-refresh kapag sobrang dami na ginagawa na trabaho. Even as we need to do refresh. So, we need to give time to ourselves and energy to ourselves. Okay. Next, prepare your working space. Okay. So, since work from home, you need to identify working space. Uh, a simple table will do. No. Identify if you have laptops, computer, no. Coffee, it's enough. Okay, but you need to identify din also a quiet place, the most quiet place sa meron. Okay, kasi uh, uh, it is uh, para malesen yung stress uh, sa, awang, sa iba ating audience. Uh, you need, we need also to invest for earphones. You know, for example, this one. <clears throat> no, kung hindi natin maiwasan yung quiet, yung ingay sa paligid natin, the usage of the earphone is to lessen the noise na marireceive po natin. Of course, we need, kailangan din natin linisin yung area natin. No? Baga kung nasanay din tayo sa office natin na linis, also we need to also clean our working place or working environment. And of course, we need to organize. no? Kasi even naka, naka work from home ka, your file software, soft copy, is organized din dapat yan. And of course, yung paligid. Kasi na-experience natin, ginagin magkalkal ng files. Remember, na kailangan nyo rin siyang i-organize kasi baka naman malipad yan ng electric fan na mapunta kung saan. That's why we need also to, or, uh, to organize this. Okay. Personal care for letter P. Okay. Uh, as individual, kahit sa bahay tayo, required pa rin po tayong maligo. Kailangan pa rin po natin maghilamos. Kailangan pa natin mag-toothbrush. Kailangan natin bigyan yung concept natin ng personal hygiene. Because... Um, one symptoms of failing mental health, kasi sabi bumababa na yung level of mental health natin, or yung pangangalaga sa mental na kaisipan natin, is nababawasan na rin yung physical na pangangalaga natin. Kasi, for example, uh, personal experience, for example, uh, kapag, halimbawa, yung isang kaibigan nyo, yung isang ipag-play, hindi na siya nakakain, hindi na siya nakakaligo, No? Uh, may epekto na to sa kanyang mental health. No? That's why we need to address with it. No? Kailangan natin, baka kailangan nang i-refer, kailangan nyo na siyang i-tulungan, kailangan nyo siyang supportahan, kasi may, baka may mental health concerns na, na siya. So, yun yung idea. No? Sabihin, uh, kailangan nyo pa rin pangalagaan yung sarili natin. No? A simple personal care no? is also identity, uh, led or correlated with your mental health. Okay? <clears throat> Iba pa rin yung feeling na uh, namomonitor mo sarili naman na parang fresh ka. Iba pa rin yung feelings mo na parang hindi ka malagkit. Iba pa rin yung feelings mo na nakakapagbalik ka ng damit. Na nakakapag-ayos ka pa din. Okay, next is about food. No, kailangan pa rin natin kumain ng mga nutritious food. No, In some way, coffee can help to boost uh, our brain to function. Okay? But if you are emotionally unstable, no, we need to avoid dark drinker dark drinks no coffee uh, coke no proceed tayo with yellow food kapag medyo emotionally unstable tayo okay we need also to do exercise in 30 minutes of cardio exercise uh, the brain can produce endorphins endorphins is one of the happy hormones can boost immune system not eh? that's why it's also necessary to us no also we need to connect with our family with friends and other significant others you need also to give, part of the personal care is what we call digital detox. Sabihin, magbigay lang po tayo ng limit. Kung saan tayo makikipag-usap, kung saan lang tayo gagamit ng gadgets, no? kung saan lang tayo mag-access ng Wi-Fi. Enough sleep is also part of personal care. And of course, yung very important is to know your hobbies. No? Baka kasi hanggang ngayon, hindi mo pa rin discover yung sarili mo. No? That's why. This is a good time. Kasi dati, parang sinasabi natin, o sinasabi ng iba, kulang ako sa tulog. Ngayon, medyo mahaba-haba na yung tulog. Minsan, wala akong time. Ngayon, medyo mahaba na yung time natin sa personal. No? Uh, that's why, baka ngayon, maaari ka na makatulong or ma-explore yung sarili mo no? in terms of cooking, in terms of music, 
baka in terms of um, gadgets or technology advancement or maaring sports, no? So, in, try to explore your hobby at the present moment or maaring kasing may bago ka ng hobby, no? Marami, or maaring ka mga uh, uh, skills na unlock ngayon, no? Kasi marami tayo na-acquire. No? That's why yung iba ngayon, natututo magluto, no? Masaya pala magluto, no? That's why it's a form of personal care. Okay. Lastly, no, is uh, system and technology. When you say systems, is actually uh, yun nakasanayan natin, yung routine natin as individual. Para na sabi yan, the first icon is more about our routine. Kasi before, in old normal, sanay tayo nag-iisin ng umaga, maliligo, kakain, uh, babiyahe, trabaho, uuwi, papahinga, kakain, tapos tulog. Tapos ganun ulit. May routine na tayo. We need also to change a new, we need also to provide new routine at this moment in the new normal work environment. Okay, ibig sabihin, uh, to identify ano oras ka mag-synchronous work, ano oras ka mag-asynchronous work, uh, ano oras ka magbibigay ng oras sa pamilya, especially kung ikaw ang parents, kasi ano oras ka mag-prepare ng food, magluluto, mamamalengke. No, you need to also provide new uh, routine on your life, especially in the new normal. The second item is about the, the policy of the organization. Remember the, how to deal with the technical stress is, of course, to review process and procedures. You must also to provide new policies and system. Gaya na sabi ko, paano nga po ba yung compliance ng OT? Paano po ba yung epekto nito sa uh, performance namin din ng empleyado? That's why we need to review. No? That's the one part of the HR. Okay, so paano nga ba yung bagong sistema na pagka-apply? Paano nga po ba yung sistema ng pag, pagpapasahod? No? Because iba na, no? dati kasi maraming, maraming nagsisipirma siya, maraming mag-approve. Maraming ganun pa rin, pero hindi na siya katulad ng piniprint, tapos iniipon ng secretary or ng ibang staff, tapos pa-follow up ka, may hihintay pang report kaya hindi, na po, na, hindi, hindi pa na po-forward. No? So, maaaring magbago yun, no? which is, uh, for me, it's a positive means no, na parang may, maaaring papilisin natin yung mga kaganapan sa nangyari sa opisina no? na maaaring what we learned in this uh, COVID-19 pandemics we can apply kapag bumalik tayo sa all normal natin. In the terms of technology, uh, since problema natin is internet connections, we need to identify kung ano yung mga possible options. Una, hindi naman kasi Kasi parang sabi ng iba, sure, hindi naman kami, wala naman kami internet connection sa lagi. Uh, kailangan namin magpakabit. No? Pero ang problema ng iba is yung bill. No? Kung makikita po natin na ito ay maaaring temporary lang, no? may mga internet providers naman na by pre-tapes. No? Or maaaring hindi natin kailangan magpakabit. No? Kailangan lang natin i-explore ano yung pwedeng gamitin. Yung enough data na pwede ma- ma- na applicable sa uh, phones natin. No, no. Kasi usually, for example, sa applications naman, hindi na ng laptop eh. Sa gadgets, sa, sa phone natin, pwede natin gawin. So, identify, no, kung ano yung uh, explore what possible internet connections and capability na meron. And of course, part of it is, of course, uh, the gadgets. no Identify best gadgets you can use, no. For example, uh, if I use webinar, even Zoom is applicable to phones, no, mas sanay ako gumamit ng laptops in conducting webinars or even participating in webinars, no? So, sanay ako gumamit ng laptop uh, kesa sa phone, no? So, identify best gadgets that's um, applicable to your practice. Okay. So, please keep in mind, working from home requires a certain mind and skill set. No? Work-life balance promote good mental health. Okay. So, we need to identify things na ginagawa natin to para, ka, para saan? Para kay Nino. No, naniniwala tayo na uh, remember that the stress is actually good one. No, it can create to use stress and positive response. No, parang, for example, COVID-19 pandemic is an idea of stressful situation for others. But remember, uh, this COVID-19 pandemic, tinabibilis niya ang paggamit ng tao o matuto at matutong yakapi ng tao ang bagong teknolohiya bilang option sa pagkatrabaho which is mas bumibilis. Uh, COVID-19 also pandemic um, it helped our world, our earth, our planet to recover in the terms of environment. Nalilesan yung gamit ng uh, mga sasakyan. Nakakahinga ngayon yung mga halaman. No? So, uh, that is the idea na 
maaaring, we need to uh, promote mental health na hindi dapat stressful. We need to also na identify ano ba yung masitibo na nangyayari dito. Uh, it is the right time also na magkaroon tayo ng bonding with our family members to our special someone, to our significant others. It also the, the time na magkaroon ka ng mas maraming oras, no? Kung mayroon kang pinangarap na panoorin na series, hindi mo na panood ngayon yun. Na mas marami kang time. Kasi, good thing about working from home, hindi tayo nagka-travel na mas matagal. No? Dati, parang ilang oras ka pa pumabiyahe? One hour, two hours? Papasok pa lang? Four hours? Po, kasama na yung pabalik? So ngayon, meron ka extra four hours no? to adjust on this. That's why you need to uh, understand na hindi negatibo dapat ang patingin natin dito. We need to understand what is the positive aspect of the COVID-19. Before we end this webinar, uh, I would like to end the quote from the quotation of Victor Frankel, one of the famous neurologists and psychologists in our profession. An abnormal reaction to abnormal situation is normal behavior. So, <clears throat> what happened to our situation natatakot, nangangamba, uh, nahihirapan, nagiging masaya, no? uh, yung iba, especially for mga introverts na hindi naman sanay lumabas, no? ngayon, talaga nasa ano nila, mas okay sa nila, pero yung iba, sanay lumabas, na, 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 na sa loob na ng bahay, nahihirapan sila ngayon na manatili sa bahay. It is a normal behavior because we are on the abnormal situation. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining in this webinar and hope to enjoy more of our webinars in TPPS work and we hope to see you soon at this keep safe. Thank you.